All right, it is really hot today here on What Plant Is That, Paul? And today we're gonna talk about El Grillo. And this dra dragon fruit is really tough. It's a Hyloceres ocamponis, and it's native to a more northern region um, from Central America, so it's actually a Mexico Jalisco region. So uh, it has that waxy appearance uh, that's unique to this variety and uh, uh, of Hyloceres. And you can see it gets really large. Um, it's kind of a different color. It's really more almost a greenish blue gray, like a Bismarck palm frond to me. That's what it reminds me of. And Scott as well, he said that yesterday. Um, and when we acquired it. But anyways, uh, you can see it makes that kind of that wax just to protect it. And it's really, really thick vibrant. Uh, it produces a really uh, great tasting red flesh according to Spicy Exotics. Um, the, it's kind of a beet flavor in a sweet good way. So uh, I'm excited to try it. I hope it produces fruit. It should. This is a really robust stock. You can see um, common of a lot of the red varieties that have these really large spines. So um, just be aware of that. I also read this is a great dragon fruit variety for beginners because it's so tolerant of heat and cold. And I also read that this is a great plant to kind of use as a rootstock because it's so tough. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll do some experimentation eventually. But man, here it is, El Grello. Um, got this yesterday for 30 bucks. Can you believe it? It's so huge. Um, awesome, huh? So I will, I do plan to cut this back and, uh, and create a few cuttings off of this. So. Um, I'll show probably do an episode on that and just how to cut this and also you can uh, do a little hack to cut away some flesh and kind of make a little stem. So there you go. Give us a like, subscribe. We have plenty more dragon fruit coming your way. This one's El Grello, uh, native to Jalisco, Mexico. Be aware of the spines, but the benefit is that it is very tough to heat and cold. All right. Have a great day. Take care. Bam. Dude, it's creepy.